All right, today I'm heading to uh, Livingston, Montana to Boyer Bronze to uh, take a set of molds once I get them out of my storage. And uh, I'm going to be delivering the mold to the foundry to cast up a copy of one of my bronzes. So that's what I'm doing just Monday. And I'll be back as soon as I got something to say. Okay. Yeah, again, I forgot to uh, change over to outdoor video settings. So everything's going to be extra blue. <laughs> anyway, it's a beautiful day. A lot of smoke in the air. Probably from a fire someplace. So, you know, forest fire. We were getting it from Idaho last uh, beginning of this month. And it might be still from Idaho, I don't know. All right, that's the uh, molds and uh, for approaching storm. And I'll be taking those to the foundry and uh, delivering them. They're really heavy. <laughs> All right, storage space is extremely tight here in Annis, Montana. And uh, I'm so fortunate to get a, a real good space to store my stuff in. Foundry's just a little too small and they don't have a big storage uh, building like the older foundry that I used to sh cast it. And uh, so they can't store the molds at the uh, foundry. It used to be I could just call the foundry and tell them I need a copy of a bronze and they just pull out the molds. But uh, can't do that uh, with this foundry because it just doesn't have the facilities to store the molds. So it's really nice to have a storage space to put my molds in. Hi. Heading to uh, Livingston, Montana. bit of information about this area. Over 30,000 years people have been traveling this route along the Madison River here. Native Americans obviously back 30,000 years ago. I can't even imagine what this place, well probably looked pretty much like it does now. the road here one time. Scared the heck out of me.
here, there's a famous buffalo jump. A buffalo jump is a cliff that they, the Native Americans would run the buffalo over uh, because they didn't have horses at the time. And so they would stampede the buffalo towards a cliff. Now, it was set, it was a cliff that you couldn't see until you were right on it. And it was full of buffalo and thinking that was, you know, continuous ground that all of a sudden the ground would drop off. And that's just about, oh, maybe 20 miles north or 10 miles north. All right, I'm coming here. into the uh, Bozeman area. This is the Gallatin Valley. This valley used to be covered with buffalo at one time. It was Blackfoot country. It was a dangerous place for white men back in the 1800s, early 1800s, when they were trapping beaver up here. Blackfeet did not look well on, on any kind of intrusion on their land. Now Livingston is just over that far mountain range. And so, just a little bit further. I showed you the uh, Madison River, and now we're going to be crossing the Gallatin River. This is one, th these are two of the uh, three rivers that form the Missouri River, which is north of here. It was the headwaters of those uh, rivers that uh, Lewis and Clark expedition back in the early 1800s was looking for. All right, just arriving at the boundary. Uh, deer out front in bronze. Cool. Alright, got the mold all in the one container so that uh, they can keep control over them. And uh, I'm going to be heading back home here. Alright, I'm going to be working on it. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do next. And I got an idea floating in my head I've been dealing with for a couple of days now. I just got to finalize my thoughts. And uh, it's going to be dealing with that uh, true form armature horse and figure uh, and doing that in clay or adding clay to it. And uh, I just haven't figured out what I'm going to do yet. I've thought of doing a, uh, a pioneer woman uh, riding a horse bareback with her uh, dress draped around behind her and underneath her and between her legs as she rides a, the horse. And uh, I've been thinking about a, a warrior who's come across some... Uh, empty tin cans on the uh, prairie that once held food in them and he's poking them with his spear from horseback trying to figure out what these things are because he'd never seen them before so I'm, I'm just mulling around my head what I'm going to do and I haven't figured out exactly what I'm going to do yet I kind of like, I like both subjects, and I just don't know which one I'm going to settle on. So it might be a couple of days before I start something, but uh, I just want to let you know what I'm thinking and what I'm 
planning. And uh, so stick around. Just coming into the valley here, and that huge white cloud south of uh, here is a is obviously a forest fire going on down there, or grass fire, because that's coming up off the ground and going up into the uh, high altitude and then spreading out. That might be the source of some of the smoke that's in the uh, valley here. Alright everybody, that's going to be it for today. And I'm heading back home now. And uh, it was a good drive. Alright. Good night everybody. <laughs> I'm going to have to get over it. See you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.